Hey riders, how you doing? It's Paul with another ride home review. This uh, week I watched uh, Thoroughbreds, which is directed by Colin Finley. I think I got his name right. Hopefully I did. And stars Olivia Cook, uh, Anya Taylor Joy, Paul Sparks, and the late great Anton Yelchin. And it's about two young girls who used to be friends, reconnect, and then make up a plot to kill one of the girls' stepfathers. Uh, before we go on, like I said, don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube, like, like me on Facebook, and follow on Instagram at Ride Home Reviews. Uh, catch all the weekly reviews, including television and so on and so forth, and all the movies that I, I uh, mess with on that channels, on those channels. So the uh, the movie is like like was built by an interview I saw with the director. He kind of tried to make it like uh, he said, "The Shining meets Heather's," but I think it's more like, "What if Heather's was directed by Stanley Kubrick?" And I really enjoyed because I thought that he really nailed uh, that that part of it. I thought that the deliberate camera work, the deliberate composition of each frame, uh, the uh, just just the long takes in and of itself were really powerful in the telling of this story. I mean, it was pretty much a simple story, and then you have the camera work and then the acting because with the long takes the long takes on uh, uh, with the camera means that the actors have to deliver the dialogue or the monologues at a better pace and so that really stretched the talents of the actors who all did a marvelous job and like I said it was good to see Anton Yelchin and his last role um, I didn't realize that this was the last movie that he was going to be in for his untimely death so it was good to see him and he was a, a decent character however underdeveloped um, he did quite a job at the time that he had on screen but the two main the two main actresses Olivia Cook and uh, Anya Taylor Joy just were fabulous with their chemistry and how they uh, really interacted. Um, the music and the sound design in this was really good from a thriller thriller standpoint and the, the minimalist use of it to draw your attention to something in particular was was really well done. Um, however, the things that um, I, I would have liked a little bit more is a little bit more backstory to to their uh, um, to their relationship prior to this moment, uh, um, a little bit of uh, uh, backstory to to uh, Anya Taylor Joy's character. I, the character's name is slipping me for some reason, and also due to the fact that there was it was deliberate in its uh, methods of camera work and shots and scenes and takes um, towards the end the pacing just got a little bit long uh, just got a little bit you're just like all right let's get to it let's get to the point and of course you know um, sometimes movies have a hard time with it with an end um, but all in all it was a really decent movie a uh, really good thriller a really good really good take and some really good talent out there so it's a pretty good movie that I recommend watching probably uh, not necessary to go see it in the theater so so there you have it that's the ride home review for this week thoroughbreds so once again follow on Facebook uh, like us on Facebook subscribe on YouTube follow us on Instagram on until next time go watch something cool see you later